Hey there everybody, I just wanted to uh, share, I guess, uh, something that actually came up in a consultation that I had with a client. Um, they've been running a particular campaign and they've been running the same campaign uh, consistently for a few months and all of a sudden the campaign just stopped working. And so I, I asked, you know, uh, uh, when, you know, when did it stop working? And they said, oh, you know, uh, literally a few weeks ago, uh, all of a sudden we were not getting the responses that we were used to getting on the campaign. And so this is not an uncommon thing to occur in marketing and it's called either ad blindness or message blindness. So in this particular case, they were running an email marketing campaign where they were initially getting a fair amount of response uh, to people who were looking to uh, uh, um, uh, engage them for their services. And then all of a sudden it just literally stopped. It, it literally, uh, it's like somebody literally switched off the tap uh, and turned off the water flow. So in this particular case, and uh, one thing to understand is, is that we are constantly being bombarded by messages. We're constantly being bombarded by advertising and marketing, and we're seeing all these things come at us. And if we start seeing the same sort of thing over and over again, all of a sudden we start to uh, have a mechanism where we tend to switch off. Um, so this is why if you look at the big companies that run a lot of ad campaigns, they don't run the same style of ad uh, uh, for a very long time. They'll run them the campaign maybe for a month or two and then they'll switch up the campaign or they'll switch up, they might have seasonal campaigns or they might have uh, timing campaigns that uh, they run at specific times uh, throughout uh, busy periods or quiet periods throughout their year or throughout their seasons. So this is something to be mindful of, that if you find that something worked really well and all of a sudden you put it out there and it's not working, uh, what you wanna be doing is changing up your message. Uh, and sometimes you wanna use the existing message as a control and the new message as the test. And so the one thing that I've learned through, through marketing or with mentors is that you should always be testing, you should always be improving, always be trying new ideas out in the marketplace. So ask yourself if you had, had that same experience where you've used a particular campaign or a particular message and it worked and all of a sudden, it, for whatever reason, that message just stopped working. And a lot of that has to do with that concept of message blindness. So like the uh, great marketers of our time have always said, uh, I just wish whichever 50% of my advertising or marketing actually worked, um, uh, then I would be in a much different situation. But uh, as my mentor Jay Abraham uh, has always said, test, 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 test. So test your marketing, you wanna improve, uh, have a control. Uh, it's the same thing if you're running Facebook ads, you wanna be testing, you wanna be A-B split testing, images, uh, words, uh, 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 diagrams, uh, things that you're running in your campaign, uh, you wanna be trying different versions so that you can see which is actually hitting the mark and generating the sorts of responses that you're looking for. So, uh, so if you are thinking maybe you're suffering from message blindness, maybe you need to test another message. If you've got something that's really working well, then you wanna continue that uh, uh, don't stop doing that because the reverse happens. Uh, oftentimes I've found when I've been talking to uh, clients uh, where they've been running very, very successful campaign and they continue around, it was working really well and, uh, and uh, all of a sudden they decided to stop running it. For whatever reason, in their own wisdom, they thought, you know what, maybe we should change this uh, campaign. And so, uh, so they stopped running it and they shelve it and then they try different campaigns. And oftentimes when I've asked the question, I've said, have you ever had a campaign that worked really well? And they said, yes, we have had a campaign that worked really well. Uh, and then I say, so show me the campaign. Are you still running it? Say, no, no, we haven't run that for a long time. Now, the funny thing is when we pull that campaign out and run that camp campaign again, it starts to generate the results. So if you do have something that is working, then you want to continue running it until it doesn't. So you want to use it as the control in your marketing as opposed to uh, um, letting something that's working go by the wayside. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Keep an eye out for a live training that I'm doing tomorrow on how to generate clients quickly. I'll be posting a link here for you to register for that, uh, uh, that live training with me personally where I'll be able to craft a campaign for you, uh, maximize your opportunity to go out there and generate clients for your consulting or your marketing agency business. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.